booktube it's amanda i just want to wish everyone a very happy new year you know, it's a little bit late that's how i do things i'm a procrastinator and i'm proud i had a chance to read a few books over um my winter break but for the past two weeks i was actually in dc visiting my dad and uh, we traveled down to myrtle beach and it was so warm and beautiful and i loved it so i haven't had a chance to read all too much but I do have one book that I would like to review because it literally, the whole break, the whole time that I was reading it, I could not get the smile off my face because this book just makes you so happy. And thanks to everyone who watched my first Document Your Life video. I really appreciate it. Um, it was really fun to make and I love being able to watch it and go back and look at all the things I did over that month. So I hope to continue it throughout the year. And hopefully that's not one of those resolutions that kind of fades away because I really want to keep it going. But anyway, so the reason why I'm here today is because I want to review Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which is easily one of my favorites. And it's a really, it's a really awesome holiday winter read because it takes place during Christmas time. And I was reading it right before Christmas and it just really set the mood for me. So this book is by Rachel Cohn and David Leviathan. They, um, they worked together on this book and I told you guys in my previous video that it was really cool that Rachel actually wrote Lily's parts and David wrote Dash's parts and they emailed the chapters to each other so they kind of just worked off each other which I find so cool because Dash and Lily's dynamic in this book is just awesome. It's 260 pages, um, not, not all too long. I finished this I want to say in maybe about four days. Yeah, I finished in about three to four days. Um, there's so many good things to say about this book, I don't really know where to start. So this book, obviously the two main characters are Lily and Dash. Um, it is really cool and it, it takes place in New York City during Christmas time. And they are two complete strangers. So I'm just going to read this first little paragraph. I think the first paragraph um, of the book perfectly kind of sets the tone for how the rest of it's going to be. So imagine this. You're in your favorite bookstore scanning the shelves. You go to the section where favorite author's books reside. And there, nestled in comfortably between the incredibly familiar spines, sits a red notebook. What do you do? The choice, I think, is obvious. You take down the red notebook and open it. And then you do whatever it tells you to do. And that's how it starts. So Lily and her brother, Langston, um, Lily's had trouble her whole life finding a, a romance, a male companion. And Langston, her gay brother, is very happily in a relationship with his boyfriend and so him and his Langston and his boyfriend Benny uh, decide to create this red notebook of clues that they along with Lily had to create a plan and they put a red notebook with all these clues in it on how to contact Lily in her favorite bookstore and hence this is where the story begins because this happens to be one of Dash's favorite bookstores um, and he goes in there and he finds this red notebook and then that's where the kind of the plot ensues. Character wise, they are complete opposites. Um, you're kind of wondering how they're ever going to, if they, if they meet, how they're ever going to kind of get along because Dash absolutely hates Christmas. He hates all like the, the fake happiness and all the decorations. He doesn't understand it. He's kind of, he's a Scrooge. He's a Scrooge walking around New York City. And then you have Lily, who loves everything Christmas. She arranged her own Christmas caroling group. She loves seeing Christmas movies, drinking eggnog. She loves everything about Christmas. And it kind of just shows the personalities. Dash is kind of, a, kind of a loner, kind of quirky, hipster, very, very deep thinker. And Lily, I would describe Lily, this is how I imagine Lily. I imagine Lily as Emma Stone in Easy A. Like this really adorable, um really bubbly, really kind of like innocent, um, really fun girl. Um, but I think that's what kind of leads them as characters to really attract. So it's a really fun book. It's really quotable. I have little tabs and everything of some of my favorite quotes. Um, the dialogue between them is hilarious and there are moments where they have some really deep moments. And I think it's a really relatable book. Maybe none of us have, you know, had the privilege of being able to find a, you know, a red moleskin notebook um, in between the shelves of your favorite bookstore where some mysterious, deep-thinking, handsome guy is gonna find you. I mean, however, I think 
maybe some of us at one point have talked to someone over the internet or over texting or things like that, but you haven't actually met them yet and there's a series of expectations you have for them and these expectations that they have for you and you become afraid that you're not going to meet them or that you're going to be inadequate um, and that you're just not going to be the person that they imagine you as and that's kind of what happens here is they're doing so well and then at one point it's like wait the chance of us meeting is actually it's real it's probably going to happen pretty soon and you know that's where kind of the conflict happens where they start second guessing like you know maybe they just don't fit together and maybe she imagines him as someone completely different than he is and I will let you figure out when you read this because you should whether whether they meet how it goes um, and how they kind of put together the the characters they created in their head and the person that they see right in front of them so all in all I really recommend this book it's really good and you should definitely read it. Alright, so some quick updates. For those of you who are wondering, uh, the books I'm reading right now, this bad boy, um, A Game of Thrones, the first in the series. Um, I'm about, let's see, like this much through right now. Not that much compared to how much I have to read, but I love it. I have already watched the first and second season, <clears throat> so I want to read the books to make sure I really understand the details and the the books in the show, I w I'm happy to say, are like almost, they're so close together. Um, some of the, like a lot of the exact dialogue from the book is in the show. I really love this series so much. It's really, really good. Um, and then I got this. It's Water for Elephants for Christmas, and I'm really excited to read this. I usually don't read two books at once, but I think that's what I'm going to start doing because that one's going to take me a while. This one might too but I just really want to read it. My special gift, I got a Kindle Paperwhite for Christmas and I love it so much. It's so light and cute and adorable and I'm definitely going to be reading more books on this in the future. And I just set up my first Goodreads account. Um, I don't really know how to use it very much so um, I mean I'll put a link below for you guys but I'm still learning how to use it. It seems really cool. For those of you who have Goodreads accounts, um, if you're watching this, feel free to leave a comment with, um, I guess, the link to it so I can follow you, subscribe, I don't know I don't know what to do, but something like that so I can see what books you're reading and get new ideas. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!